Hi, it's Katrina. From secret hidden bases to an entire world under the ice, here are 10 of the most shocking conspiracies from Antarctica. Number 10. Antarctic Pyramid It looks like there could be a pyramid hiding in plain sight in Antarctica. There has been a conspiracy surrounding the loss of an ancient civilization from the Antarctic continent circling for a long time. With the discovery of what appears to be a huge pyramid covered in ice, that conspiracy theory has really taken off. But could it be true? Could an ancient civilization have carved a huge pyramid structure out of rock, only to have the frigid southern snow cover it from view? And if not, who made the pyramid? Was it aliens? Ancient alien theorists are certain that there are secret pyramids hidden all over the globe. Why not Antarctica? The pyramid has four steep sides that look very much like the Great Pyramid of Giza. The TV show Ancient Aliens argues that these pyramids were left behind by an alien race, and that this pyramid was the master pyramid that all the other pyramids on Earth were meant to look like. Also, one of the theories is that pyramids somehow were used to generate energy, and this one might have been some sort of wireless energy maker. Geologists and most other scientists are not convinced. Yes, the structure is real. There is definitely a mountain in Antarctica that looks exactly like a pyramid. Unfortunately, it's probably just an ordinary mountain. Eric Rignot, a professor at the University of California, recently told Live Science that there is no pyramid in Antarctica. He says the structure everyone is so excited about really is just a mountain that looks like a pyramid. Though he did admit that it's pretty rare to see this kind of mountain since it has all four sides even and smooth, making it look more like a pyramid than some real pyramids. The Pyramid Mountain is actually just one peak on the Ellsworth Mountains, first discovered by an American aviator named Lincoln Ellsworth back in November of 1935. That means the Pyramid Mountain was first witnessed over 80 years ago, but perhaps now more than ever, people are still arguing over what it actually is. What do you think? Pyramid or just a mountain? Let me know in the comments below. Number 9. The End of the World According to some people, Antarctica is where the world ends. Flat Earth conspiracy theorists have apparently gotten together and decided that they will embark on their very own expedition to Antarctica to prove once and for all, despite all the evidence against it, that the world is indeed flat and that it ends just after Antarctica. However, the people who have organized this bizarre expedition said they don't have any plans to do it soon. They have instead chartered a cruise ship to take them into much warmer waters, where flat earth believers can meet, network, and talk about how flat the earth is. The trip to Antarctica is supposed to come later, though skeptics say the flat earth enthusiasts are scared of being proven wrong and will probably never actually get on the boat when the time comes. Why not just do it now? Cruise to Antarctica to the end of the world would be fun anyway, right? Sort of like journey to the center of the earth or around the world in 80 days. But what makes these people believe Antarctica is the end of the Earth? According to Robbie Davidson, the guy in charge of organizing the cruise, if you take a globe and squish it, Antarctica will go all the way around the planet. This is the basis of their beliefs. But hold on to your socks because it gets even stranger. These people also believe that Antarctica is basically an icy shore, but not one that you can peek over. They don't believe anything is able to fall off the edge of the Earth, because they actually believe the Earth is inside of a snow globe, along with the sun and the moon and the stars. Fun! Number 8. Landed UFO There have been claims made recently that a UFO has crashed in Antarctica, and apparently there are images to prove it. Footage was posted online showing what appears to be a trail through the snow left by some kind of elongated object, looking like a long metal tube. The discovery was made using satellite images taken from Google Earth with thousands of people immediately convinced that aliens landed in Antarctica. You know what scientists are going to say. Geology expert Richard Waller from Keele University says the trail was not left by a UFO, but rather a rock that fell down the side of a mountain during an avalanche. But here we have two conflicting stories. The conspiracy theorists claim that the UFO hit the top of the mountain, causing it to collapse, before hitting the ground and skidding to a halt. On the other side, the professional scientist says it was a perfectly natural avalanche and that the elongated object is just a block of ice covered in snow that slid away from the rest of the debris. Dr. Richard Waller says the block of ice came from part of a hanging glacier that collapsed. 
This is just one of many UFOs believed to have crashed in Antarctica, and for the moment it remains an unidentified object until someone goes there to check. Number 7. Missing Ship The discovery of what seems to be a missing ship has sparked a whole new batch of crazy Antarctica conspiracy theories. A user on Google Earth spotted something that looks exactly like a cruise ship lying on its side on a block of ice, about 100 miles from the mainland of Antarctica. It's sitting on an ice sheet and seems to be covered in a light blanket of snow. What's really wild is that based on the Google Earth measurements, the ship is about 400 feet long. You can clearly see its hull, its smokestacks, and even the upper deck. It looks exactly like a cruise liner. But what is it doing sideways on an iceberg in the middle of the ocean? Some say cover-up, some say Nazis, and some say aliens. This obviously looks like a boat. If it's an accident of nature, it's one crazy coincidence. It could be a yacht that got lost at sea, it could be a decommissioned ocean liner, or it could even be a forgotten cruise ship. It's not that far-fetched to think a ship floated all the way to Antarctica and got stuck in the ice. It's not impossible. However, the conspiracy theories are out of control. Some say the ship belonged to a politician and is direct proof that powerful world leaders are doing something on Antarctica that they don't want us to know about. Some even say the boat was left behind by the Nazis when they built a secret base back in World War II. Number 6. Secret Base Speaking of secret bases, something else was found on Antarctica using Google Earth that has sparked a wild theory. Somebody believes that they have found a secret base hidden on the icy continent. Using Google Earth, this individual discovered an air vent sticking out from what looks like a block of metal in a no-fly zone. They measured the structure using the tools on Google Earth and came to the conclusion that the base is 150 feet wide. It also has a black opening that seems to be man-made. The snow is darker around the base than in the surrounding area, implying some kind of heat transfer. The conspiracy theory here is that beneath the ice, someone has created a secret base. Though who that someone is, well, nobody can say for sure. The primary theory is aliens, though the truth is that anyone and any big government probably could have built a secret base here. After all, the United States tried to build an underground nuclear facility in the Greenland ice back during the Cold War, and nobody knew about that. Hitler was rumored to be obsessed with trying to conquer Antarctica, and there has been a race to control the icy continent for a long time. It wouldn't be that hard to build a base in Antarctica. Perhaps the question isn't who built it, but what is it being used for? And now for number 5. But first, what do you think is going on in Antarctica? Anything strange or suspicious? Let me know in the comments below. And I want to give a big shout out to John Stafford Sablin and Rhea Salas. Thanks so much for supporting this channel. If you want to learn more about amazing and mysterious discoveries, be sure to subscribe and join us. Number 5. Face from another world. A Google Earth user has discovered the face of someone or something sticking out from the snow in Antarctica. By zooming in on a remote region in the southeast of Antarctica, the conspiracy theorists revealed a frowning face carved right into the ice, looking like some kind of angry deity. This time, there is no denying that what was spotted is quite obviously a face. It has two slanted eyes, a nose, and a small mouth. It also has a rather pronounced forehead, suggesting a type of humanoid from another planet. What could this face mean? Some say it's proof of a hidden civilization that once lived in Antarctica. Conspiracy theorists believe they carved the face thousands, even hundreds of thousands of years ago, before their civilization was erased. An even wilder theory is that the alien face was carved by a group of people or extraterrestrials currently living underneath the ice in secret. According to NASA, there is no face at all, and it's just a phenomenon called pareidolia in which a person sees recognizable shapes in ordinary things like ice, clouds, or rocks. Number 4. Entrance to Hollow Earth The Hollow Earth theory is a fan favorite. The idea is that the inside of the Earth is hollow and inhabited by an advanced race of people living within their own atmosphere, with their own animals and monsters, completely independent of the outside world. In other words, there is a world inside of our own, in the hollow core of the Earth. First of all, it's important to note that the Earth is not hollow. There is a core of dense and very hot iron and nickel. It's a scientific fact. Nonetheless, some people believe the Earth is one big kinder surprise and full of monsters. And some of these people say that the entrance to hollow Earth is hidden on the continent of Antarctica. 
What's really interesting is that the theory has been around for a long time. It was taken seriously by scientists and politicians up until just recently. Though that isn't saying much, seeing as we were literally burning witches just a handful of years ago. If the entrance to Hollow Earth really is in Antarctica, nobody has found it yet. And seeing as we're talking about a giant wasteland of ice and snow, it probably won't be found anytime soon. The chances of finding the entrance to a secret inner Earth are about the same as falling off the edge of the ocean and into space. Number 3. Secret Nazi Cloning Facility Near the end of the Second World War, sometime during 1943, the Nazis began moving to the South Pole to construct a base. The base was to be built at Lake Vostok, a massive glacial lake hidden beneath roughly two miles of solid ice. There was apparently a Grand Admiral named Karl Donitz, who was quoted as saying something along the lines of, Germany's submarine fleet created a fortress for the Fuhrer at the other side of the world in Antarctica. It's also said that in the German naval archives, there is a report from a German submarine that arrived at the South Pole in 1945, just as the war was ending. The crew members of the submarine dug an ice cave and stored boxes full of Third Reich relics, including Hitler's very own personal secret files. Things get weirder still. The final bizarre Nazi rumor is that the submarine U-977 arrived in Antarctica with the remains of both Adolf Hitler and his lover Eva Braun, so that scientists could use their DNA at a secret cloning facility to bring Hitler back to life. None of these rumors can be proved true. The only true thing about the Nazis in Antarctica is that in December of 1938, a German expedition tried to establish a whaling station and maybe a naval base, but found that by the time they arrived in 1939, the area had already been claimed by Norway, and they left without building a single thing. Or did they? They didn't really follow the rules. Number 2. Frozen Town Satellite images have revealed what appears to be a mysterious town hidden in Antarctica buried under the rapidly thawing ice. The discovery was made by an unnamed paranormal investigator and conspiracy theorist. The site in question is about a mile long, with what have been described as sinister structures arranged in such a way to make them look like houses in a neighborhood. Oddly enough, each indiscernible structure is uniform. They all look identical, which is not something that happens very often in nature. It's also a bit odd that the nearest research facility is over 200 miles away. There should not be any man-made buildings in this part of the continent. These satellite images do seem to show something man-made, but is it really a hidden town? Some have suggested that these uniform structures, all lying neatly in a row, could be special nuclear bunkers built by the elite members of society to keep themselves alive when the end of the world comes. Another weird theory is that these structures are actually landing pads left behind by aliens. Nobody has any idea what they really are, but we do know that they first began to appear in 2001, as the ice started melting faster than ever before. Whoever built them must have done so a long time ago. Number 1. UFOs in the Sky At the Antarctic Research Station Neumeyer Station 3, a UFO has been spotted hovering in the sky. The UFO was spotted in a video being taken of the remote research facility. In the video, you can clearly see a circular object that almost looks like a balloon hovering in just a few frames before vanishing. The workers at the research station had no idea what it was. Nobody online could come up with any plausible theories, and the only ones who seemed to want to talk about it were the conspiracy theorists. They claim that the government is actually in collaboration with aliens, working together on top-secret projects and secret weapons and that they're doing it under the guise of normal scientific research in Antarctica. But there are a few things wrong with the UFO sighting. First of all, the unidentified object looks a lot like a balloon. It could have just been a weather balloon, though this has not been confirmed by the research station. To be quite frank, nobody knows if it was a balloon or an alien ship. Although if the government did want to work with aliens, what better and more private place than an Antarctic research station? Thanks for watching! What do you think about these theories? Looks like we need to take a trip to Antarctica. Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye.